se da 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 le ka bro de ka da 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 le sa ka da da ba se ka da da ba le sa ka da da di se ka da ba le ka bro le sa sa da 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 di le ka da ba le sa ka da 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 la ka bro le sa ka da da ba se ka da ba le sa ka da da ba le ka da ba le sa ka da da ba se ka da ba le sa ka da da ba le ka da ba le sa ka da da ba se ka da ba Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, have your way, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, live Sakada Rebe, Rika Pro, Lika Daraba, Likin de Debu, Sakada Raba, Keskebu. We under the bar, we cabro, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, la cut a bed. We cabro, we cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bar, we cabra, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bar, we cabro, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Lisa cut at a bed, we cut a bed. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lick a da 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 ba, lick a bro. Lick a da 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 ba, lick a da ba, lick a bro. Lick a da da ba, lick a da ba, lick a bro. Lick a da da ba, lick a da ba, lick a bro. Lick a da da ba, lick a da ba, lick a bro. Lick a da da ba, lick a da ba, lick a bro. Lick a da da ba, lick a da ba, lick a bro. Lick a da da ba, lick a da ba, lick a bro. Lick a da da ba, lick a da ba, lick a bro. Holy Spirit. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okang, and today is um, Wednesday, but because of my time and wherever you are, um, it is 1.41 a.m. in Ghana, wherever you are. I believe that you are blessed to join us and let's share, um, to share the word of God. Hallelujah. So let's pray. Father, we thank you, we bless your name. Indeed, we say you are God. Father, we pray that let this word that is coming to our children be a blessing message. And Father, deliver them from any arms, any power, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let every word that I speak should be in my mind, but it should be the utterances of the Holy Spirit for the children to know you more and to know the plans of the devil and to destroy it in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I once again welcome all of you. Uh, my name is Apostle Emmanuel Okai. And this evening, this evening, I am preaching a message with a title, The Spirit of the carpenters with the four horns. Hallelujah. The spirit of the carpenter with the what? With the four horns. Praise the Lord. And we are taking our scripture from um, that is Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 1. Verse 17 to 21. Bless you. God bless you, viewers. God bless you, Evangelist Rosen. God bless you, Laurinda. God bless you, Laura Dennis Robinson. God bless you for joining and making time with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So please kindly take your Bible and let's tuning to Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 1, verse 17 to 21. Amen. And I read from the KJV version, okay, cry yet, saying, that's yes the Lord of hosts. My cities, true prosperity shall 
yet be spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet come forth to Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Verse 18. Then I lifted I up my eyes, and saw, and behold, four horns. Zachariah says, he saw four horns. Verse 19. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be this? What be this? What be this? And he answered me, These are the horns, listen, Lord, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the like the word scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Verse 20. And the Lord showed me all carpenters. Hallelujah. Verse 21. Then said I, What come this to do? And he spake, saying, These are the homes which have scattered Judah. He repeated the scattered again, Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to free them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horns over the land of Judah to scatter it. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the word of God. Believers, as we, we read the scripture and the topic for today is what? Let, please kindly like and share, okay? Please kindly like and share and invite friends also to, to, to join, okay? And God will bless you. Hallelujah. So, the topic for today is the capital spirit with the four homes. The capital spirit with the four homes. Yesterday I said I will have we we'll have a teaches about daughters of Eve, but I have not finished with that sermon so other time. Hallelujah. Now, what are the homes mentioned in Zechariah chapter? Um, 20 and 21. In Zechariah chapter 19, uh, Zechariah 1 19 says that. So I said to the uh, verse 8, he said, Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, there were four homes. There were four homes. Homes. This home. This is a home. This. One, two, three, four. So there were four homes. He saw the Zachari Zachariah saw four homes. Four homes. And we know what homes are used for. I'll come to that point. And he and the angel said that these are the homes which have scattered Judah, the three nations. And he later, the angel of the Lord showed him carpenters, craftsmen. And when they showed him the home, he said, what be these? Or what are these? And when they showed him the four capitals, also, he said, what are these coming to do? And the angel of the Lord said that these homes, which have scattered Judah, Jerusalem, and um, Israel, eh, these capitals are coming to throw down the homes of that He saw. Now, believers, these words were spoken to Zachariah at the end of Israel's 70 years of captivity. You understand? In Babylon. Babylon had since been conquered by Persia. And the prophet hears the angel of the Lord asking the father asking the father how much longer is dry must endure God's judgment. The father, the Lord of hosts, God, answered the angel of the Lord. That is Christ. 
in verse 13. Yet, Zachariah doesn't share his answer with, 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 with them. So, then the, the, the angel of the Lord affirms that the Lord is very jealous of his dry, uh, for, for a uh, jealous for his dry, and will, will show compassion upon them and build his house. That is the temple. Am I preaching the house of the Lord? Am I preaching the house of the Lord? Again, in Jerusalem, moreover, the Lord confirms that Zion will rise in a day to come speaking to the coming kingdom on the earth. Amen. So this promise, or these promises, reminds us that Israelite or the Israelites' distress and the Gentile rulers was not intended to destroy them and eventually the Lord will give Israel a proper place on earth as he promised. Praise the Lord. Now, then the Lord gave the prophet a vision to affair his promise to bring judgment against his dry Gentile oppressors. To bring judgment against what? Israel Gentiles what? Oppressors. And bring and to bring comfort to Israel. Hallelujah. So four homes. Four homes that the Bible stated brought perils to the prophet. It brought what? The four homes brought what? Perils to the prophet. But then four smith or the craft or the carpenters or the, the, the four carpenters appeared to hammer the horns into submission carpenters always deal with hammer listen all this is the tool for carpenters. This is the tool for carpenters. Hallelujah. So, the home was, the, the Bible said that the home, the four homes, was the home that destroyed these nations. Jerusalem, Judah, and Israel. And there was a promise that was given to what? To the Israelite, that there's, they, they, he saw another vision that four carpenters, and carpenters always walk with what hammer. They work with hammer. This is their strength. You see, so this the four carpenters is to smite what the home to destroy what the home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you following me? Hallelujah. So, homes, homes, home, home, this thing. Homes are symbol of power or authority in the scripture. And a smith or a hammer. Homes are what authority or what power, and a smith or hammer is one who brings strong things into submission, like a blacksmith working metal into shape. So this is smith, or let me say hammer. Hallelujah. So therefore, the four homes represent the four stages of the age of Gentiles. Described in Daniel chapter 2 and Daniel 7. And I'm preaching in the house of the Lord. Which are the kingdom of Babylon, the Medo, Persia, the Greece, and Rome. That are the four homes. So the Bible says that the four homes are the nation. You see, which will which will place its dry and the gentile world authority. Am I preaching the house of the Lord? So eventually, these four homes 
will be brought into submission to Christ Himself at His second word coming. As, as I continue to explain, the four horns, the vision begins with Zachariah saying, Then I raised my eyes. You see? Then I raised my eyes. Yes, God bless you. The four corners of the earth. The four horns also stand for the four corners of the earth. Thank you. God bless you, evangelist. You see? So he says that then I raised my eyes. This is clear what meant to announce a new vision. But it can also be taken as a visual word expression of being called out from the contemplation of the previous vision and into the contemplation of another one. So in raising his eyes, he looked and saw four horns. So they are remarkable horns in that animals which they, 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 they were associated were not seen or mentioned in the scripture. So the appearance of these horns was something so striking to Zachariah that he asked in verse 19, Zachariah chapter 1, verse 19, says, What are these? What are these? Plainly, they are meant to be taken symbolically. You see, so as we read on in the text, we see that they are what? The homes that scatter, that scatter, that scatter Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. So, and they have such a what? A distressing and humiliating impact on the people of Judah that no one could lift up his head. If you read verse 21, Zechariah. Verse uh, 1, verse 21. So, do you understand? Thank you. God bless you. Now, listen. This one is authority and power. I'm going to give you some emphasis bit by bit. And we gather it at one, at one and we deal with it in two prayers. So, obviously, number two, a home is a feature of living animal that is used to exert what force to exert what force to understand the symbolic meaning of this though we should look elsewhere in the scripture to see where horns are used figuratively i'll come to that place horn are in a in the in a Way of what a poetical way, or well, let me say that let, let me say like this a poetically, 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 a horn is used as a symbol of power. If you read Psalm 75, verse 4 to 5, horn is used in this sense or in, in, in this statement. In the negative way of self exaltation. Hallelujah. So when it says, I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully and to the wicked, do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. Do not speak with a stiff neck. So it can also use it. In a positive way, in the reference to God's favor. So if you read Psalm 92, verse 10, where it says that, But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox. You see, I have been anointed with fresh oil. My eyes also have seen my desire on my enemies, my ears. Hear my desires on the wicked who rise up against me. Horn can also be described in a figurative way as a political horn. Politically, 
a home is used to represent a nation or a nation's what power. So in Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 25 says that the horn of Moab, the hair of Moab, is cut off and his arm is broken, says the Lord. So for this reason, it is used prophetically in scripture. It is used prophetically in scripture to represent the earthly nation or the power of its forces or even the structure of its rule. That is why evangelist Rosina James says that the home also stands for four corners of the earth. And that's what I'm giving you the biblical aspect. So is the home of man, that is Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 25. Praise the Lord. So in Daniel chapter 7, verse 7, the four beasts in Daniel's vision were shown to have Daniel's vision. Were shown what? Ten horns. There was ten horns. Ten horns. Ten horns. This kind of horns, one, two, three, four, up to ten, was shown in Daniel's vision in Daniel chapter 7, verse 7. And another horn was shown to be coming among them. We read verse 8. So we are told that the ten horns were the ten kings. We are told that the ten horns in Daniel chapter 7, verse 7 to 8, we are told that the ten horns was what? Ten kings. Hallelujah. And that additional home was another king who was raised up among them. So, if you look into the Bible, similarly, in Daniel chapter 8, the ram, we know what ram is, in his vision had two homes. Daniel chapter 8, verse 3. In his vision, he has what? Two horns. Which were the kings of Media and Persia. Daniel chapter 8, verse 20. So, the male goat that is in the scripture, that trampled him, had a notable horn. So, which was the first king of Greece. So, which was broken off, replaced by the four horns. So, that is the four kingdoms that will rise from him. Similarly, in Revelation chapter 17, verse 3 to 12, the ten horns are represented as what? The ten kings. So, we can talk about the horns and I can say a lot of things about the horns. But I'm taking you to a place. That is why I've taken my time explaining this to you step by step to understand it and have a deep insight and get the knowledge of it. I don't want just to preach anything just like that. I just need to put the foundation for, it, for you to understand. So, see this. We can take these four homes that Zachariah saw then as symbolic representations of the Gentiles' kingdoms who exert their powers upon others. So because Zechariah didn't know what the horns were, he asked the interp uh, interpreting angel, that is, the angel who talked to him. And the, that was, was the first question he asked. What be this? What be this? And he said, these are the horns. That have started Judah, Israel, and what? In Jerusalem. The whole metaphor in scripture also is a nation's strength. It's a nation's strength. Oftentimes in scripture, stretching back as far as Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 17, the home of an ox become the metaphor for the military strength 
of kings and what a nation. So if one talk about the horn of Moab, eh, that is Jeremiah 48, 25, or the horn of the wicked, Psalm 75, verse 4 to 5, eh, Lamentation chapter 2, verse 17, also talk about it. Even the horn of the righteous, we have the horn of what? The righteous. The horn of what? The righteous. Hallelujah. And the horn stood for the strength of the nation or that king. If your horn is raised up, you have the power. If your horn is cut off, you lose the great shame. Hallelujah. So you see the playing out especially in Daniel chapter 8. Remember, 3 to 9 as I, I explained. I said different kingdoms via the for their upper hand. Believer, now, what am I trying to say? Explain all these kind of homes and this kind of carpenter with the hammer, the hammer and the horn. Listen, you know, I've said it several. A horn is a symbolic for authority and great power. Here, listen, the horn scattered Judah Israel and Jerusalem. Listen, the Bible said to the Bible said, God said to Abraham, You shall be blessed. You see, you be the father of all nations. Now, listen to this. Every person, one human being is for a nation. One human being stands for nation. Listen. So all the nation. If you read the Bible, his drive is a name of what? Abraham descendant. is a nation. Moab is a nation. Esau. Esau, Moab are from the descendant of Esau. So it's a nation. So a nation stands for human being. A nation stands for human being. And the Bible said the horn scattered Judah, Jerusalem, and Israel. So the horn attacks the people of Judah and Israel and Jerusalem. Means that the horn is a wicked power. Is the darkness of powers are the principalities, the cosmic powers, the the the, 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 the powers. So no wonder the Bible says in Ephesians chapter six, verse twelve, says that for we wrestle not against what flesh and what blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Every family that you come in, you are coming from, there is a, a wicked power. There is a, a wicked home. There is a home that scattered the destiny of people. There is a home that destroyed. The destiny of children, the destiny of fathers, the destiny of mothers, the destiny of relatives. This is the home. It's authority and power. And Zachariah saw the four homes. And the angel of the he asked the angel, What be these? And the angel of the Lord said, This is the four home that scatter. That scatter. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any homes in your mother's family, any homes in your father's family that has destroyed your destiny, may the power of the Holy Ghost destroy them. May the spirit of carpenters enter into your mother's family. May the spirit of carpenters enter into your father's uh, family. May the spirit of carpenters enter into your family and cut every home. The Bible says that the home of Mab was cut off. May the home, the evil home in your family be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. I am talking to you woman of God. I am talking to you man of God. I am talking to you servant of God. They are setting up in your family, they are not to be in your family. They don't. They have. They, they don't have the right to exist in your family. They are being in the family too much, and your life has been stagnant. Your life has been destroyed. The 
devil has taken greater things out from you so that you cannot move forward majestically. You cannot move forward systematically. And you have been stagnant. You are at one place. I have come to tell you the whole that is in Zachariah chapter 1 verse 18 to 21. The forms are the power of the devil. Are the demonic wicked homes that destroy the destiny of people. Do you understand? Praise the Lord. Am I preaching? You see? That's why I, 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 I have took I, I took my time to explain the horns for you. So you know what 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 to understand and what is coming. I said the home is an authority and power. It, it is cut by, by in, 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 uh, on rounds. The Bible says that, and Abraham went to sacrifice Isaac. Eh? Now, he was about to sacrifice Isaac, and the angel of the Lord called him, Abraham, Abraham, stop, for the mercy of God has come upon you. Look at your right hand. You can see a ram. In the tied to, by, 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 by the tree, and the Bible said that and Abraham Abraham told the home of the ram means that that is the that is authority, the power. May you receive that power in the name of Jesus. May you receive the power from God and may you destroy any demonic homes in your family. May you destroy any demonic homes in your family. Riches are using this kind of authority to authorize our destiny, to change our destiny, to divert our destiny to a different place, to a dry place that they don't want us to move forward. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. May that evil on be cut in the name of Jesus. Believer, so home is a representation of power, dominion, glory, and fierceness, fier fierceness. Witchcraft representative assigned against your life and your family. They should scatter and die in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft representative that has been assigned against your life, they should be destroyed. Witchcraft glory in your life, they should die by fire, by thunder. Hosts of heaven appear and overthrow every dominion of darkness in your life. Horn is an instrument of the enemy. That for horns is a wicked horn, it's an instrument of attack. So it is written in the Bible that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Witchcraft instrument formed against you shall not prosper. They should cut fire. They should cut fire. They should cut fire. They should cut fire. fire. Witchcraft instrument functioning against you. They should cut fire. May the spirit of carpenters cut them down in the name of Jesus. I use this hammer to destroy it, to conquer it, to uproot it, to cut it, to damage it in the name of Jesus Christ. This thing is not easy to come against it. Demonic horses are the demonic powers. And you cannot just break it. You cannot break this. You can who can break it? Even this thing, let me tell you, the strongest man in the world cannot break this thing into two. The strongest man in the world cannot break it into this thing is into two. This one is not a man-made. This thing is not a man-made. 
it is the hand of God. So it is very difficult to break this thing or to, 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 uh, to just turn it into pieces. All what you need is to cut it off. To cut it off. You understand? Let me tell you. Those horns that you 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 you, you, you saw in the Bible, the four horns in right chapter one. They are agents of suppression. Agent of suppression. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Evil hands pressing you down in your sleep. They should receive fire. Evil hands pressing you down in your sleep. They should receive fire. May the hand of God touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. Agent of witchcraft. High to pull you down. They should fall down and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen up. The evil home, the four homes, are the strength of an enemy. The evil homes are the strength of an enemy. But I pray that may the Lord rise and crush the strength of witchcraft power, waging war against your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Backbone. Of your stubborn enemies, receive hammer, receive hammer, receive hammer, receive hammer, receive hammer of fire, receive hammer of fire. They should be breaking, 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 break in the name of Jesus. The wicked home is a tool of oppression. I pray for you. Every instrument of oppression working against you, working against us, I defeat them. We defeat them in the name of Jesus. 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 Believer, there is a witchcraft tongue chanting incantation against you. Just to destroy your life. All because of every family. If you are from Africa, if you are from America, if you are if you are an ethnicity, if you are a white woman, if you are a white man, if you are a cousin, wherever you are coming from, let me tell you, in every family, every nation, there are evil homes. An evil home is a symbol of wickedness. Praise the Lord. It's a symbol of wickedness. We have something that we call logo of witchcraft. Logo of witchcraft. Say logo of witchcraft. I send fire unto you and I cut you down in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. You know that even we have witchcraft trophies. Do you know that? I pray for you that any witchcraft trophies in your life scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands on you wherever you are spiritually. That may the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you. May witchcraft tro uh, uh, trophy, may witchcraft spell, may any spell. Any power of the enemy that is oppressing you, that is destroying your destiny, may they receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. So, in Psalm 75, verse 10, the Bible says that all the horns of the wicked, listen to all the horns of the wicked. So, wickedness has a horn. The wicked people as a home, all the homes of the wicked, also I will cut off. I will cut off. But the homes of the righteous shall be exalted. So we have the home of the wicked 
and we have the home of the righteous. Praise the Lord. Believer, listen. You need to shine your eyes. You need to get need to listen to these kind of messages so that your spiritual insight will be zoomed. It will be zoomed to know how Satan works and the power of the levitants and the power of the horns works. So when the Bible talks about the horn of the righteous, it symbolizes the power of the believers. The power of what? The believers. While the horn of the wickedness symbolizes the power of the wicked. You understand? So in those days, the horns or the horn is so powerful that when a ram horn, when a ram horn or the horn of a unicorn is cut off at that time, it is kept safely. Any time a man of God, any time a man of God is about to be anointed for service, either as a priest or a king, eh, they must take the oil and put it inside a horn and anoint him. So it has to be like this. As if it is done to David. Solomon was not anointed with horn. Read the Bible, first Samuel chapter 9 and 10. Solomon was not anointed with horn. Solomon was anointed with flask of horn or a bottle of horn. Solomon was not anointed with a, a, a horn of oil. One day I'll find time and explain. I, I, I even have a sermon about it. Go and listen. Go to YouTube. My YouTube, you'll find that sermon there. The horn of oil. You understand? So, when oil is poured on a man's head, if he is not the choosing one, listen, if he's not the choosing one, the oil will not flow out. When an oil is being poured into a horn, and the person is not choosing, it's not the choosing one, the oil will not come out. The oil will cease in the horn. Then time. You see? So when it was the time of David, the time for David to be anointed, the Bible says Samuel took the horn and went to Jesse's house and had all his sons came before him. He poured the oil on their, on, on their heads. But the oil did not flow. Check your Bible. First Samuel chapter 16. And chapter 17. I think it's chapter 16. You understand? So, listen on. The horn is so powerful that whenever the altar is erected unto the Lord, it is placed at the edge of the altar. Like my, my place, my church right now, where I am, the church I am right now. Eh? Do you know why I place the horn? I place it here, just here. I just place the horn here. This is the altar. This is the altar. This is the altar. Eh? And I place the horn at the altar here. Do you understand? So the horn must always be at the altar. Hallelujah. You see, so these satanic horns does so many things. You see, today, as I'm talking to you now, you need to look at the power to deal with the wicked of home. Because the desire of God for you is true what? Prosperity. If you read Zechariah chapter 1, verse 17. Mm 
เรื่องอะไรสักจากการจับจังหวัดเวสเวนจีซีซัดใครใหญ่เซย์ดัสเซสเดอะลอร์ดอฟูส์มายซิตี้สทรูปรอสเปอริตี้จะยังบิสเพรดอัพบรอดสุดยอดปรอสเปอริตี้ทูมานิเฟสต์ถ้าคุณต้องการปรอสเปอริตี้ทูมานิเฟสต์คุณต้องการที่จะสร้างสถานีแห่งชีวิตในชีวิตคุณต้องการที่จะสร้างสถานีแห่งชีวิตใน life you see so these powers were there to prevent Judah Jerusalem Israel from moving forward and making progress in life so as it is you these powers restrict you hold you not to move forward these satanic horses Scatter babies in the womb and cause miscarriages. I know a lady who who had twelve pregnancies, twelve pregnancies in eight um eight years, and now stayed. So she was always having miscarriages. Whenever the pregnancy get to Three to four months. In a dream, she would either see a bed sheet or a, a cloth red, a dead baby, or someone sitting on a stomach. So immediately she will wake up. She will bleed or end up losing the pregnancy. You see, another thing: this satanic or demonic or wicked horns. This uh, that they, they scatter relationship. Another thing that they, they they scatter is relationships. When the relationship get to the peak of marriage, and it suddenly get broken. I know a lot of people. I know of a sister in the Lord who sealed seven weddings girls. Men. Came to her, and they go. Seven men came. They prepare everything, and the marriage will not come on. As I'm talking to you now, uh, 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 the guns, the wedding gun, they, they they bought is there. You see. So you need to pray. But I pray for you. Wherever they have scattered your life. Your destiny, may the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Believer, the spirit of capital, the four capitals that you see, is Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is the only person that can redeem you from all these kind of demonic powers. Rededicate your life to Him. And stay away from sins. God is a principal God. Don't give way to the devil. In Ephesians is that. Don't give the devil a way. Don't give the devil a chance. Resist the devil. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the spirit of the capitalists. To destroy everything, and as I said, the capitals are the power with the hammer. There are homes in your life. There are homes in your life. You need this thing to destroy it. Listen. Even this thing cannot be destroyed. You need who? Jesus Christ. You need who? Jesus Christ to destroy this evil curse in your family. It doesn't matter. You are black American. You are white American. You are green America. You are blue American. You are violet America. Wherever you come from in this world, 
there are wicked ones in your family. If you like it or not, if you believe it or not, they are there. You see how your life is moving backwards? Things are not standing well. Things are not going well. It is because of this demonic ones in your family. Stop sleeping. Don't be like, I know. I'm aware. If you are aware about it, what have you done about it? Let me tell you my last message for you. My last message to you, sorry. My last message to you. Most Christians are no more in the fight mood. Rather, they are in the flight mood. You cannot defeat 247 demon whilst you are a part-time Christian. Wicked homes are not easy to cut. Rededicate your life to Jesus. Pray, fast and pray. The food is too much. The talking is too much. Pray as much as you can. And God will bless you. Peace be with you. Amen. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okan from Ghana. Thank you for joining. And I believe that you are blessed. You are blessed. You are highly favored. May the countenance of God shine upon you. May his power rest upon your head. May you have dreams of dreams concerning heavens. May your angels visit you. May the angelic angels be around you and protect you. Any evil haunts, any wickedness haunts, satanic haunts, chasing you in your dream, destroying your destiny, your marriage, your life, your financial status. May the power from above, the pillar of fire in the cloud, the pillar of power should fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. If you want to sow a seed to support the work of God, download the web remit. Contact me on my Facebook Messenger and I'll give you my information to sow a seed. If you want to support the ministry, the vision, let me show you inside my church. This is inside my church. Look at my church. Yeah. We need a lot of things to be done. This inside my church. We need a lot of things to be done. But there's no help. If you want to help, God will bless you. If you want to help, our, our, our PA systems are not better. Our things are not better here. But I believe that God will take care of us. God bless you and God be with you. Peace. Shalom. Bye.